All right, let's take a look at math, grade four, module three, lesson 17. Multi-digit multiplication and division. Topic E, division of tens and ones with successive remainders. Problem one, divide two digit numbers by one digit numbers using number disks, regrouping in the tens. All right, so um, we're gonna practice this with 30 divided by 2. First I'm going to represent 30 using disks in my place value chart. So 30 is 3 tens. So I'm going to show my 3 tens like this. 3 tens is equal to 30. Now I need to divide it into two groups. I have my two groups set up down here. This is one group and here's my other group. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to distribute these three tens into my groups. So I take one of those tens and I move it into this group and I take the other ten and I move it into this group. But now I have one ten left. If I put it here, then the groups won't be even. If I put it here, the groups won't be even. What I need to do is I need to decompose this ten. I need to unbundle this 10. I need to break it up into ones. So instead of having one 10, I'll have 10 ones. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now I have 10 ones. So that means I no longer have this 10. So I'm gonna exit out. Now I can take my 10 ones and I can distribute those down here into my groups. So I can put one in this group and one in this group and so on. putting one in each until I no longer have any ones in here. So now I have divided 30 into two groups and I have in each group one ten and five ones. One ten and five ones is 15. Alright, let's show 30 divided by 2 using long division using the standard division algorithm. So I have 30, which I'm dividing into two groups. 30 is 3 tens. So 3 tens divided by 2 is 1, because I have 1 ten in that group. 1 times 2 is 2, or 1 ten times 2 is 2 tens, which I will subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1. I'm going to take down that 0. And then now I have 10 ones. 10 ones divided by 2 is 5. I have 5 in the group. And then 5 times 2 is 10. And when I subtract, I get 0, so I don't have anything remaining. So 30 divided by 2 is 15. And we showed it in two ways. One way was the place value chart, and the other way was the standard algorithm, or the long division algorithm. All right, let's try this one. Now we have 42 divided by 3. Or we can think of it as being 4 tens, 2 ones divided by 3. So what I'll do is I'm going to represent 42 on the place value chart. That's 4 tens and 2 ones. So I've represented them here on the place value chart. Now 
what I want to do is I want to distribute them. So I'm going to start with my tens and I'm going to say, okay, I have three groups. Here's one group, here's two groups, and here's three groups. Now I need to move this dot into a group. And I'll move this dot into a group. And I'll move this dot into a group. But now I have just this one dot right here left. And I can't really put that into any of these groups because my groups won't be even anymore. So what I need to do is I need to decompose this tin. I need to unbundle it. I need to change it in for ten ones. So I'm going to draw a line through this tin because I'm no longer I no longer have it because I'm trading it in for ten ones. Now I have these 10 ones that I just added to this, plus two more, so I have 12 ones. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute these ones into my groups. So I'm going to do this one, this one, and this one. And I know I'm going to do them three at a time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out three at a time, and I'm going to put in three. And that's okay, save some time. See, as I cross them out in the ones column, then I move them into my groups. So now my group has one ten and one, two, three, four ones. So does this group and this group. So when I divide 42 divided by 3, I get one ten and four ones. And we can also do this using the standard algorithm or the long division algorithm. I have 42 and I have 3 as a divisor. So I have 4 tens. 4 tens divided into 3 groups. It's going to give me 1 10 in each group. That's why I have 1 here. 1 10 times 3 is 3. It's 3. Then I'm going to subtract and I'll get 1 10 left over. That was my 110 that was left over, and I decomposed it and changed it into 10, and I added it to these two, which gave me 12. So by bringing this down, it's really what I'm doing, is I'm taking the 10 and adding it to the two that were already here. So now I have 12 ones, so here's 12 ones, 12 ones divided by 3 is 4, and it's 4 because I got 4 in each of these groups. 4 times 3 is 12, and when I subtract, I'll get 0. So this really helps students see when they do this process that this is really what's happening. And it's important that we understand what's happening so we don't make mistakes when we're doing this. Alright, so let's look at um, the problem set. This will be some of your classwork. Show the division using disks. Relate your model to long division. Check your quotient, which is your answer to your division problem, and the remainder by using multiplication and addition. Okay, so in this one I have five ones divided by two. So I'm going to represent five ones by drawing disks. And when you do this, you can probably just draw dots on your paper. That'll be fine. 
And then I'm going to take this space down here and I'm going to make two groups. So this is one group and this is one group. Now I can distribute these ones into the two groups. I'll move this one, so I'm going to scratch that one out. And I'll put one of them here. And then I'm going to move this one. I'll move this one into this group. And I'm going to move this one into this group. So, my quotient is going to be 2 because I have 2 in each group. So my quotient is 2. My remainder is going to be this one right here. So my remainder is 1. So when we look at the division, the long division algorithm, we can see that 5 ones divided into 2 groups is 2. 2 ones times 2 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1, and that 1 is my remainder. So if we want to check our work, we're going to check our work by multiplying our quotient times our divisor, and that's going to give us 4, plus we have to add in our remainder and that will give us 5, which means we were correct. Okay, that's going to do it for Lesson 17, where we've been working to represent and solve division part problems requiring decomposing a remainder in the tens. If you need additional support, you can go to lpssonline.com hover over Parent Command Center, scroll down to Math Resources, click on Grade 4 because that's what we're working on, and you can go to Topic E, which is where we're at, and you can get our newsletter, which will help you with your work.